dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. protected other people too, but he couldn't save everyone. He could never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Keep that hair short. Just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I couldn't, and Kenny killed Jane. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done... I still decided we were better together, for AJ's sake. But like everything else, it wouldn't last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. Let's dream. What you doing there, goofball? 
Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Oh, I've always called you goofball. It's time for you to stop. It's Alvin Jr. AJ still work? AJ still works. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Pre heat oven place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy uh, on second thought never mind that's only gonna make you hungrier here you go about all we got What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. It's finally time. Let's play the final season. Good morning, everybody. It's midnight and beyond. Welcome to my Let's Play of The Walking Dead Season 4, the final season. I'm at a complete loss for words. I can't believe we finally made it to the end of this incredible journey. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. We've been through so much with Clementine. So much has changed. And now, it all comes to an end in this final game. I have no idea what lies in store for her, for AJ, for the entire world that she lives in. But one way or another, whether we like it or not, we're gonna find out in due time. I'm not really sure what that significance is. Also, it seems that Telltale's continuing the tradition of just jump cutting to certain things. Uh, we, in the last game, we were setting off to find AJ. I'm kind of glad that this entire game wasn't about trying to find AJ, because I feel like that would just be like too little progress, but I don't know, it seems sort of weird that we just start the game and we already have and we don't know what, where he's been or what he's been up to, what that adventure was like. Maybe we'll have a little flashback that shows that? I'm not sure, but I don't know, out of all the jump cut into the future things that Telltale has done with the Walking Dead series in the past, I'm... Probably the most okay with this one, because nobody died in this jump cut. Hooray! At least not that I'm aware of yet. Be like, oh, remember when everyone you knew died? Like, right before you found me? Yeah, that was really crummy. But whatever. Let's just make the best out of where we are right now. And head forward. Alright. Let's find some food. Now I gotta say, like, it's incredible just how much the graphics improve in these games as time goes on. Like, I was really impressed with Season 3's graphics, but, like, just through that opening scene in the car, it was just incredible for Telltale standards. And it's really sticking amazing just in game standards. I don't really want to, like, hold it as just a Telltale thing or whatever. This 
game is really impressive and it just looks really cool and stuff. I love the mixture of comic book art style and it's becoming more and more realistic looking. Like it melds together really well. So that's really cool. So basic controls, X is the um, basic button. Friendly, ring the bell. Uh, should we it trust mean? it? It means the people here shoot first. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't trust it. Wait, ring bell? When you see that, consider the consequences before taking it. Yeah, like, that makes no sense. Like, ringing a bell, it would attract walkers, first off. And then, like... Oh, but if they're telling the truth, then... They would get mad at me for trespassing. Can I just be like, hello? Uh, I'm trying to avoid making the obvious joke here. Uh, ooh, that's a quick run button. Wow, this is the fastest running we've ever had. I was checking to see if we actually had the, yeah, uh, R2 is running, and this is the quickest you've ever been in a Telltale game. Finally, the final game, we at long last learned how to run. But whatever, um, so this is one of those decisions where, like, if you ring the bell, it could be a trap, or if you don't ring it, then they could be telling the truth, and you'll get in trouble for trespassing. We could say we can't read. I doubt they'll believe it. Uh, this would be a time where I would use my main character status and be like, oh, I'm the main character, so I'm okay, and even if this brings trouble, we'll be fine. <sighs> In the world of the apocalypse, you gotta take risks, I suppose, so let's give it a shot. What are you doing? Or with any luck, they're abandoned. Oh, yeah, okay. It was only one rain and just one stood up. All right, not terrible. Okay, then, so we're just gonna go in here and get down to business, I suppose. Look around with the right stick. Nothing of importance right now. <laughs> right now, right stick. Yeah, we're really stretching. This looks really cool. I'm just like taking in all the cool little art details and stuff. I'm gonna try not to gush about it too much because it's kind of weird just be gushing about graphics in, the, in this setting. It's just kind of weird. But like, oh, we're we're fighting for our lives, and I just know she has one ponytail instead of two. Uh, okay, kind of weird. Like one got chopped off. She, I, I liked her little cool makoto, not makoto haircut, but like a shorter haircut that she had in at the end of the third game. I don't know where that went, but whatever. Guess it wasn't meant to be. Uh, press circle to stun or triangle to kill. Uh, stun. And triangle. Classic tactic, talk to us by an old ally. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Also, that was kind of risky with the controls. Like, that was not as much time given to you as they do in the past, so that's kind of scary. Like, there was no lock on thing. It was just like, oh, uh, you ready? You gonna do the thing? Uh, yes, yeah, it's telling you to run. Oh, cool. So, uh, but yeah, it was kind of weird that, like, they didn't give you any lock-on thing. So, it seems the games are getting a bit harder. So, this will be definitely a difficult challenge right at the end. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. It's for fun. For fun? You get in the tire, and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I want to try. After we clear this place. So weird that his entire existence has been in the apocalypse, so the concept of fun probably isn't very familiar to him. We'll try and let him experience that, but first we got to make sure he's safe. Uh, let's see, I feel like I saw something down there. It might have just been a shiny. Uh, trying to get used to the camera. Let's see. Got nothing over here. I'm gonna turn the corner. Pretty empty, which is interesting. I guess good for us. If there was a walker here, that means that it's abandoned because they wouldn't have just left one out here if there were people still living here. A deer skull. Hmm, interesting. Also, I'm not sure how old Clem is supposed to be in this game. I think 17? She was 13 in the last game, I think. Uh, I think that's what they said. I was trying my best to, like, stay away from any and all interviews and, like, photos and videos of this game because I want to go in completely blind. 
Uh, I just tried to figure out uh, how old she was when going into it because I'm always interested in that. Uh, when, in season one, we start out at eight years old. Season two, she was 11. Season three, she was 13, I believe. And this game, I have no idea, 16 or 17, I would assume. Uh, so we found that. We went in a complete circle, it seems. I don't have to walk everywhere, so we could make things go a little bit quicker. Wee, I'm having fun. Can't remember if she had one at her treehouse back in the beginning of our adventure. I guess we can go up these stairs. Uh, we'll go in there in a second. Kind of wish the camera was a bit more zoomed out than it is right now, but it's temporary, I assume. Not every situation is going to be like this. We can examine the barrel. Guess there's nothing of importance. No problem here. Uh, we're on LP. This is actually the first thing I'm recording for year 7. It's kind of weird this is not going to be the first LP of year 7, but... It's the thing that's readily available to me. Wait, drink what? Oh, there's water in there? I don't want to trust trash can water, but I assume that's what it was meant for. Oh, Clem. Oh, jeez, is it gross? Yeah, I shouldn't have trusted it. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Clementine. I'm not making good life choices. Note to self, kids, don't drink trash can water. It looked like it might have been save like the, it was for that intended purpose I don't know oh what if it's like a toilet oh god I just thought of that oh no oh I'm so sorry Clementine uh hopefully I could be a better guardian slash friend to you in the final chapter I don't know let's head inside it's locked of course pry it open uh left stick and stick. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? We always... Uh... Oh wait, I didn't mean to go silent. the windows? Okay. That's right. Okay, cool. So he gave me the answer. I wasn't going to say check the windows. I was going to say find somewhere to hide. AJ is always listening. Okay. Well, at least I let him figure it out on his own. He did it. So that's good. Teaching him to solve problems and stuff. Oh, hi. Sorry to intrude. Huh. I just wanted to reuse the Girl Scout line for the 50 millionth time. They can't get us? Something something Thin Mints? Something something Lee Pun? Something, something, it's getting old. We're in the final chapter. Let's be more original. No, they can't. Still, you should <laughs> kill them if you have the chance. Windows are all boarded up. Our choice is to determine who he will be. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm, can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. To the ticket booth. My mindset is there's always, there could always be something bad that happens. Like he could accidentally like, they could ex the ropes could give out or someone could come in here and release them or they could get knocked over. I would kill them so we could just like guarantee that won't happen I wouldn't bend down while they're still alive and stuff but we need to I know oh they're still they're still holding hands even in death oh till death do us part but this opens the lock. <gasps> yeah seriously what, what did you think was gonna happen can I where's the chop button read note please leave us alone this is what we wanted. To be walkers? Wait, okay. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. 
Will we have a home? We'll see. It's sort of like what happened in the first game, but those two people shot themselves in their bed, remember, in episode 5 of season 1? They didn't come back, though. I doubt they wanted to come back like this, because no one would want to hurt someone in this, like, especially like this. But we still need to get that key. Do we get the key? Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. That's right. So he wants us to be smart, which, in my opinion, would be to get rid of them. Doesn't seem to be an option right now, though. If we get in through a different way, though, it might make him smarter and more compassionate, which is very important to me, so... Oh, there's a water fountain in here. If it works, I'm gonna be angry. Okay, could. <laughs> it wouldn't be that easy, would it? I just didn't want to have, like, a good source of water in here right when I just drank trash can water. That would have been crummy. Uh, the little white dots are good indications on what to examine. Beans! Homemade. I was eating those beans! I where this came from. Jar of beans promising. There's a little description. Uh, let's see, look at the table, anything else? They ate well. Or their last meal. Huh. Nothing else. Talk to him. Yeah, this is crummy that we're all alone. I know that. I know season three of Krillin was really angry and just. I assume that changes a lot. Like, she already seems a lot different now that she's back with AJ again, but... I don't know if she could really trust again after everything that's happened. Perhaps her time with Javier might have changed that a little bit. Given her a little bit of hope. That there's still some good in the world. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. The key or the window. Those are our options. Uh, I don't think AJ. Uh, he might be able to. It's dark in there. So either put him in danger by going through there, or we should kill the monsters. They're not people. Obstruct their final wish. Well, they used to be people, and as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's I'm best? In danger. Don't make me choose right now. There's no, there's no... Oh, I knew it, I knew it. I stink, I knew it. Like, you know there's going to be something bad. I know it won't result in him being killed because it's the beginning of the stinking game. But... Uh... I don't know. AJ surprisingly wanted to kill the walkers, which I thought he would He's sort of different from Clem. I feel like Clem, eight-year-old Clementine, would say not to kill the monsters. I don't know. I feel like if they had the option to make it so they wouldn't come back, that they would do so. Like, it's just such an awkward situation where... You have to make choices that you wouldn't normally make. It doesn't really define who you are as a person. Because A, it's a game. And B, it's just a very, very specific and awkward situation. I'm going... Uh, I know I'm going to regret it, as I regret everything, but... It seems that Clementine wants to teach AJ about maintaining his humanity, so I'm going to go with the compassionate choice. Please just don't have it result in him trusting me less. Oh my god, I'm gonna regret this so stinking much. Oh, he's okay. five! Oh, I stinking hate this. In there? We need to know if there's food inside. 
and I need you to be brave. Okay, I can be brave. I can't. Oh, this poor out. little fro. I love What's the fro and all, but what happened to keep door? that hair short? Like, it's yeah. dangerous. Okay, please don't have anything bad happen. Please. Come on. You could do it. Oh god. I stinking knew it. Oh god. Oh thank god. Oh jeez, where are you? Okay, good. I made the right choice. Awesome. Unless they break loose, like I said before, and I regret everything. Huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. <laughs> we could keep the couple as no one's roommates. Ever anywhere. I don't know. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. Are you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Just a few. Hey, a great shot. Remember what we said? You know this. Oh, I know from the trailer. Save the last. Save the last bullet for myself. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta it's be something. Such a horrible thing to teach Hope someone so. of his age. It's horrible. I hate this world. Like, I know it's not gonna end well because. That's something I've always been asking throughout the past Walking Dead games. How could you end an apocalypse story besides the obvious method? It won't solve everything. I have zero hope in this game ending in the apocalypse ending. In a positive light, at least. I just... I don't know. I, I hope that... It's a fulfilling end, and I want an answer that I didn't know before. That would be amazing. Will I get it? Who knows? Not the worst place to sleep. I really don't want to stay here with, like, them tied up there. I don't know. It's just, it's so risky. We put them in like a jar or something. They survive as heads. We know that. <laughs> I don't know. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. No, don't swear. Yeah, watch the swears. Hey, watch the swears. No swearing in my house. No son of mine. I'm in shoot. Look. Huh. What was it? Something under here. Yeah, I don't care if Clem is all angsty in the third game. I'm turning her back into a precious little angel who doesn't swear. An AJ too. Huh. Yeah. Floor door. I must have wanted to hide something. Girl Scout cookies ahoy! That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Ah! Close, 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 close. Oh, it's rigged. Okay, down, 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 down. <laughs> AJ. <sighs> At least it wasn't a person. But that definitely attracted trouble. Yep. I didn't miss anything. Monster. Somebody once told me. Oh shoot. Okay, we need to get back to the car. Hooray! Nobody died and it wasn't my fault. Nobody was in danger. It wasn't my fault. Hooray! I made a good choice for once. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Alright, let's get down to business. Dangerous grooves, you still able to break them up. 
Alright, go, go. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, thank you for standing still waiting your turn. Oh jeez, X, 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 Triangle! Triangle! Oh, back to panicking 24-7. It's good to be back, Walking Dead. Okay, run, run, run. Oh, good job. Let's get to the car. Get in. Oh, hi! Sorry! No hitchhikers this time around! Uh, R2 at the same time! Hurry! Go, go, go! Okay, the trigger is a good stabbing button. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, but we need the keys! Oh, great. Oh, jeez. Oh, we closed it on him. Are we gonna go? We can't go, because the keys... Clem, did Kenny ever teach you how to hijack a car? Shift the gears. Release the brake. Yes, he did. Or didn't. Oh, God. Uh, just take it, take it, take it, take it. Knife. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, that's gross. Oh, geez. Oh, thank you. This is really weird camera angles, makes me wonder who I'm playing as. Okay, go. Oh. Oh, we stuck. Triangle. Oh, not the windshield. Oh, now this car's like 50% less safe. Oh, out of the eye. Oh. X, 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 X. AJ, up. Safety first. Oh, everything's going wrong today. Huh? Oh, jeez, AJ, don't do it. Welp, at least I went the whole time without saying da 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 da. Oh god, what happened? Wait, arrows. Oh god, someone's here, we're not alone. No, no. oh god, who is it? Well, that's a heck of a prologue. I guess this will be the time for the intro, even though it's sort of already happened. Remember in A New Frontier where I wouldn't commentate until we got to the intro part? Yeah, that was kind of crummy. Good thing I didn't do that this time around. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome to the final season of The Walking Dead. I have no idea how this is going to end up. Oh my stinking god, these comics stinking graphics are amazing. It looks so stinking cool. I've been very mixed with how the Walking Dead series has been going. I just feel like every game has been getting progressively worse. They don't know where they're going with it, and the choices haven't really mattered all that much. I've kept on saying that I wanted it to end because I didn't really feel like it was ever going to go anywhere. And now that it's here, I just don't know. 